What's that thing Xena had? Xena wasn't a ninja. A warrior princess. That's no, what what's the thing she had? A sidekick. A show. Fucking, what's the thing she had? Not a glaive. The circle? She threw it. A discus? It. I, I think I remember Xena and Warrior Princess I'm gonna put throwing, this, I'm gonna, throwing the You know what? I'm going to appear. I'm going to put this on the table. I'm going to put this right here for me. I can look at it. I'm going to wake up. <laughs> Thanks, computer. Is that your password? Is wake, wake up? Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> what was that Oh, console battery low. Xena had. Fine. Good. All right, good. Great. Xena, Warrior... Xena... It's still not over the ending. I mean, that's not. Was Xena really evil? Was that a thing? Who are you asking? The internet. What was Xena's weapon? Chakram. Who stole chakrams? Is it like what a is, famous what? weapon? What the is hell? That, is it what? A chakram. It's a throwing weapon from India. Oh. A chakram. You know. Like a ninja weapon from India. Oh. A chakram. Those are figures. Like a swastika? <laughs> no, not at all. A chakram. I think like the plural is chakra. Maybe <laughs> that's a different thing, actually. So if you take the swatches home, it's a chakra. See, 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 see these. These, 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 these. You throw one of these and you go, Cha! Oh, okay. A chakram. A chakra happens to you. Got <laughs> That's a different thing. It's a chakra. <laughs> okay. Yeah, What's good, a, Internet? Shocker. Sh <laughs> we are back again. It is Tuesday, June 13th. One of us should tweet that we're back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and we're back for a little bit more Waypoint Radio. We're here to talk about video games, specifically those of the Ubisoft persuasion. Uh, and also, I think maybe actually we should talk about Ubisoft in general, because that's something that we did not uh, actually talk about yesterday because so we went to a Ubisoft press event last night after their after Sony's press conference uh, and their embargo was like till this afternoon yeah Pacific time so we're like we're free and clear now um, and that means that we didn't talk about the the Ubisoft press conference either nope which is like worth talking about probably. yeah what happened there well it opened with Rabbids in Mario in Mario we Mario about came about. out yeah and then that was cool Miyamoto was there yeah, you know, one thing I'll say, uh, you know, I think when that game uh, was getting leaked, uh, that that game existence has been around yeah. for a couple of months now. I, people are pretty down on the idea, like, why do we want a, a Rabbids Mario RPG yeah. from Ubisoft? It turned out okay, and that's what like, I don't know if that game will end up being great, but I think the idea that I come out of E three going. Show me more right. is like the bar I was totally for with that game. All right, so we, we hit that other uh, in our uh, our Nintendo stream. Yep. So we move on. The Crew Two, that exists and it's not the thing I thought it would be at all. In I thought a bad we were way, get, right? Yeah, I thought we were gonna get two Fast and the Furious games this year. I thought we were gonna get Need for Speed, Payback, Payback, and I thought we were gonna get the Crew Two. Why would you think that about the Crew? Did you play the first Crew? I did play the first Crew. That's a, supposed to be a Fast and the Furious game, but it is absolutely not. Yeah, but I thought they would write the ship. I thought they would figure out that the thing that the narrative was going for was wildly different than the thing the gameplay was going for, and that they would they would correct, and they did. But they corrected the opposite mm. direction I wanted them to mm. correct. I think I see. I, I think I think they corrected in the it, they corrected in the correct direction. <laughs> I hate that phrase. That that just that's that's, that's, they, that's leaden on the tongue. Yeah. Anyway, uh, do you remember how bad the story was in the crew? Yeah, dog. But like, do you remember how bad the story was in Fast and the Furious, and how good those movies are? Mm, I don't. But that's those easier. movies are good because the characters are good. Those movies are good because I want to. I, and I wanted them to to tie this sort of like high explosive spectacle of I'm racing a car and there's a truck and then explosions, which they like never did right at all in the first game. Or the other thing that they could have done is turn it into or leaned into what I actually liked about that game, which was these little weird spaces in between big cities. The like, or even the big cities themselves, like the Strandriel of the cruise America. Did that happen The Strange, me? yeah, it was last night. Oh my God. We were up very Patrick, late last night. All of that was real. So the Strange Reel of America. <laughs> um, yes. Which is very real, actually. Uh, that was my favorite thing about it. It was like, go driving to a place and like, is that a subway? And then you look at it and it's just called like, <laughs> Urban fresh or whatever, right? Like eat urban, urban. eat urban, not, not fresh. Not, no, <laughs> it's not copyright. Fresh. Uh, there's definitely that. Those are my favorite things. Like guitar lessons, and there's like those. Those are the, the things right. that I liked about right. the crew. And I wanted them to lean in one of those two directions. Either make it a Fast and the Furious game where the races actually feel like they have spectacle and crime, and and like 
the chance of something cool happening or lean into road trip mode lean into we're just out here seeing the sights and like and i think road trip mode is is where they're trying to lean that's not what um, i saw dude i saw inception but you keep talking Okay, so there's there's a stylistic Inception touch at the start, but so what you I'm saw a different demo than me, so I want yeah. to argue. So look, like the crew, I had one of the weirdest experience gaming experiences of, of my life playing that, going on a road trip with my buddy Fraser Brown, yeah, uh, who that's the Fraser, PC gamer, and has written a couple things for us. Yeah, um, we road tripped in the crew uh, from uh, the East Coast, from New York, all the way out to LA. Um, and I've actually driven past the beach where we ended up pulling our cars up. Oh uh, wow! It, yeah, it was it was it was wild. The problem was the world was entirely shut down. We did that early in our time okay. with the crew. There are no quests, like because everything is gated, everything right. is low. Because right. God forbid an Ubisoft game yep. not gate everything mm-hmm. to your progression. <laughs> not have level. some sort of tower. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, there are towers in that game. There are super are. Um, it was terrible. They should not have done that. Yeah, there were, so there were a lot of like crappy, like generic, like when you think of like Ubisoft, the things that make you cringe. Yeah. All that was in the crew, but like wedded to car concepts, and as well as an Xfinity branded race, which was awesome. Oh, awesome. But it was Xfinity. Uh, was that like the one that did have big spectacle? And there's like, the plane that yeah. ever had. And all uh, that? I don't remember a plane, but it was okay. like this race from the Rocky Mountains, back, like in mm, Michigan mm-hmm, or something mm-hmm. like that. It was this like like. Death race through the mountains, right. then sprint over the plains. All right. uh, but it was branded Xfinity because you know these cars are so fast, just like Comcast oh, Xfinity. Oh, I see. I got you. Uh, it was it was it was really right. good. But so what was what was cool about it was driving around this like small world version of the U.S. Totally. That was really cool. I just wanted them to open that up a little bit and maybe not wet it. To the story of a crime Shiv, family. the man who betrayed your brother. Wait, his name and is Shiv. Bad. And also, if you look at the main character from the Crew One, he's just Brian Cranston with hair. The Crew uh, One protagonist. What's his name? Do you remember? I don't remember. I want you to guess. But, uh, Jeff, yeah. Alex. Alex, Alex Taylor from the Crew. Anyway, keep talking. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I wanted the story. I, I like. I wanted it sort of decoupled from that story where it's like we've got to take down Shiv and his gang in sure. a series of street races. Oh, there was races. like a really ridiculous name for when you leveled up in that game. We went up the rank. Oh, you, right? well, you got your um, your uh, what's, what's the Detroit area code? Three one uh, three one nine. Uh, shit, uh, we're getting to the crew. <laughs> it's late lore. Night. lore, the crew lore. Three Welcome to the crew lore cast, episode one. I'm talking 360, maybe? I no, don't know. No. Anyway. Look, the, the point is, though, so you got your ink. Your ink for your, your, your bed. Yes, yeah. correct. Uh, You're not going to have any of that in this, though. No, and so I do question, so what I think is good is they're like, hey, it's this beautiful, amazing world. Let's go explore in it and, and race in it. Right. What I think is bad is that it's all done through this lens of... Now there's a reality show with street racing and the dramatic tension... Is that, yo? It's it's esports. It's esports. And it's, it's like likes and faves. This is our chance to go legit with our street racing. But there are some old school dudes who are like, I don't want to be corporate like that. I still want to keep this on the streets. And you got to show that you can make this an Instagram friendly, brand friendly adventure. Uh, and yet retain all the spirit remember, and authenticity of street racing. Remember when I was talking 20 minutes ago in our Call of Duty, in our like day one wrap-up mm-hmm. podcast, yeah. about how I was excited for influencers to start affecting you know, like being part of the game this, development process? This, this, this is exactly what you actual meant. This is, this is what I meant, was what if we got to play as influencers? What if we got to be a virtual influencer? This is not the first racing game that does this. Kudos uh, I think is sort of similar, right? Grid and Two did. Uh, did it? Yeah, it was all about like your first race. You're driving around, and then you go to your uh, your virtual social media page, oh, wow. and your agent is like, "Great work! That that race got tons of likes on you know fake Facebook." <laughs> Awkward pause. Yeah, it was it was real bad. Uh, the, I guess even different. even the Forza Horizon games have a touch of that where it's like we're getting people who are into the Horizon Festival right. and that's going to grow the festival blah 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 but I guess the, the thing that I didn't get from that was the 
I mean, I guess maybe they didn't sort of resell off of what was in the crew one, but like, I didn't get the sense of scale in America or whatever the, the map of the world is from that pitch. I think... Or the little spaces, especially. What I'm hoping for mm-hmm. is that you don't get that scale as easily because the world is bigger. Like... Wait. That I thought was, it was the U.S. in the first one. It was. So how is it bigger? No, no, no. What I mean is, so in the first game... <laughs> What, is there other places it, it, look, than it, the U.S.? I will tell you something the, about Donald Trump's plans for the United States. <laughs> it's growing. <laughs> it's bad. Which way? Every, Every way. way. What, what you, you have you ever seen Akira? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <laughs> you should watch Akira. You really shouldn't. It's like half of a good wow. movie and like two okay. hours uh-huh. of a dude going like, Canada! And then like... It just say Danica! Danica! That's it. That's what they say. They say yeah. Danica. Pretty much. Um... <laughs> So, no, what I, what I mean is, like, in the original crew, like, you could drive from Detroit to Chicago right. in, like, 30 seconds. Right. No, it was not like, 30 seconds. It was, it was short. Oh, Detroit to Chicago, yes. Yeah. It was 30 seconds. Like, it was, it was like, that was, like, the same city, <laughs> yeah. basically. But, like, I do think that the, the trip, one of my favorite things was, like, the first night I got the game, and I knew immediately that I thought it was bad. But, but going from Detroit to New York was, like, a really fun road trip, coming down from Detroit through the Midwest, right. into Pennsylvania, past right. Pittsburgh, into Philly, seeing the signage change. Like, literally going from seeing, like, firework stand displays to seeing premiere or primetime TV show right. fake, like, billboards. I love that because I love driving. I yeah. really do love going on long road trips and, like, driving through parts of the country that I haven't driven through and sure. seeing that slow, organic change from place to place, going through little cities or little towns, seeing bookstores, seeing cafes. And they don't, they're not going to sell that fantasy. They're going to sell, get likes on Instagram. I get it. Well, but also, I'm, I think, I'm, I'm hoping consumer. they're opening the world up a little bit. By the way, Patrick, the crew has the most idyllic vision of the Wisconsin Illinois border okay, area. Okay, which is like, what? Well, it's the dairy state. And so you drive north out of Chicago, uh-huh. and it's just green fields and happy moo cows. <laughs> and, like, just like. You know, grazing peacefully in these like lush rolling, <laughs> lush rolling hills. What? Because if what we know fucking Wisconsin, hills? If we hills know of, Wisconsin. The hills of Wisconsin. Oh, lush you understand? Rolling hills. It's Watchdogs version of Chicago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a mountain. The Pacific northwest of. Uh, 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 yes. Oh my God! The hills of Wisconsin. It's the fucking Midwest. Yeah. You know, lots of places. You can have see a... the Mackinac <laughs> Island Bridge from space. Oh. Uh, God. <laughs> so. But so with this one, they're going in this direction of I'm hoping like being able to give a little more detail, get a little more granular, I, and like explore those spaces. But that's all they're doing. What they're doing is putting boats and planes into it, Rob. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It is. I don't want to race planes. I don't want to race planes. I kind of want to race planes. I raced that plane through New York, and that was okay, but, like... Are the racing... planes racing planes and boats are racing boats? As far as I've seen. Mm. I saw a guy beach a boat at the Ubisoft press event last night. Get out, go sniper rifle, like... and be like, hey, I'm gonna go <laughs> find this murder house. He fell out of the fucking boat, and like, dead. <laughs> Which was the physics in this game? <laughs> but, like, I'm, I think I'm... I'm... <sighs> they want to make a game about... Okay. Well, here was the thing that I wrote about the crew one, was they forgot that driving a car was supposed to be feel good. Right. They instead thought, like, numbers going up feels good mm-hmm. and my bet is numbers are going to go up in this game but yes. they didn't convince me that they could make cars feel good I, why would they do the why other, would they do the other things make the other things feel good well they don't they like i don't know i, I played this game for 20 minutes or less no than five minutes i don't think you're wrong okay. like the cars have that generic arcade car handling yeah. where like they don't like it's so generic feeling that I would bet you they're not even particularly distinctive among themselves. Right. Like, like cars are cars. Right. Yeah, it's all like my, name like, my name and my name. Cars are cars. cars are cars, planes are planes. Everything in this place. Too real. Too real. Um, you know, it's just sort of you lift off the gas and you coast through most turns. If, right. if you hit the brake, you eat, go into perfect power slide every time yeah. you get on the nitrous. Uh, I could see that. Like, I am concerned about that. Uh, but I kind of. And cool with the world being more open. They have some interesting modes, like an off-roading uh, right. mode where there is no track. It's literally just there's a marker somewhere out in the wilderness, and you and the people you're racing against, just like who's gonna get there first. Right. And so it's like just sort of feeling your way through open terrain. Yeah. And then there was the Inception stuff, which I don't know is get, if it's gonna be a thing. So does that explain why in the trailer there's yeah. like the uh huh? I thought they were just saying like. Yo, we got the U.S. and you can see all of it. There's a bit where you're driving through New York, and then it's like, 
I forget what it says. It says something really silly. But it's all the trailer for this like reality series. So right. it's all done in that style. And it's like, we're about to go ultra! And then the whole world folds up. And you're like, what the fuck is happening? Well, it sounds good. It's, it's, yeah. It, it makes that an impression. You. That effect does make an impression. Okay. And like, then you're in a boat. And then it's like, I'm racing this boat. Okay. And it's cool. Boats aren't that much fun to They're pilot. In uh, they do a thing in this that I did not expect, which is that you do not want to be in the wake of another boat. You're like, you're like, whoa, you just like veer off. That's, That's kind of cool. But That's I just mean like, g- like yeah. generally speaking, I've, I can't remember the last game I played in which like be, piloting a boat for like an extended period right. of time was, was like, like an like, enjoyable yes, experience. Totally. Like, there's no lanes. Like there's just right. like right. piloting an actual boat is fucking awesome. Yeah. But piloting like a video a game video boat, game not boat. video mm, boat. Yeah. Because you're going like all the way around like an island and like trying to get to like. Yeah. This is like this is like racing in. This is like racing in the Hudson. Right now, but that's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're like ra- like racing between like Brooklyn and Manhattan. Right. And you're, you know, going past container ships and it was it was kinda cool. And then like the city like folds up so, and then you're in a plane. And then you're in a plane. What I will say is there was more spectacle in that thing that we played than in all of the crew one. And so like if I want part of what I want is more is for them to lean into spectacle. Maybe they learned that lesson. We'll see. I, I want this game to be good. I want to get lost again in America. <laughs> Also, it's it's quite <laughs> right, the first line of our new Bruce Springsteen album. Yeah. Uh, also, it's just, it's so tough for a card game to do the Fast and Furious thing because like like I, well we're gonna find out if Need for Speed can do it, but you're right. I'm almost certain it can, but like, <laughs> but I mean okay, they try stuff like that in with like the run, mm-hmm. you know, where the like you try these really narrative right. uh, like constructs around these games, and it's just it's so hard. to The run didn't seem like it was having fun with mm-hmm. it though. Right, the fun was like self serious, fast right, and furious. Right. Like I didn't play that game, but like everything I saw about it was just like okay, like maybe you know well, loosen up. Well, it's a so bit. hard to get the tone right. It's so hard, and right. like that's things like the fast and furious is like almost is accidental. Need they like stumbled like, into yes. it. Took it took them like three or four totally. movies. Yes, and they stumbled into four other tones before they found the one tone, yes. which is like a weird blend of the other yeah. ones, right? Um, and I don't, mm, I don't know, I don't know. I want someone to hit it because I like those movies a lot. I just don't know if we're gonna see it. Yeah, I don't know. We talked a lot about the crew, given how short that demo is. <laughs> yeah. What else did we play? Had, had Ubisoft? Yeah. Well, we touched on Assassin's Creed. Oh, wait, we, sorry. We should actually finish talking about just their, their breakdown of what their yeah. press conference was, and we'll talk about stuff as we as we hit it. That's what I wanted to do. Transference. Which uh, I, I, I was going to go find pens. Let's, can we set uh, something up? Fucking, that was a really good bit. So, we were in between things. We went to go see Microsoft Showcase in the morning. Yep. You had an interview with Phil Spencer in the afternoon. Yep, which will be going up. Yep. Uh, and then uh, we had to go to this Sony hands-on thing. Right. So it was like, hey, why don't you just stick around? We'll watch the Ubisoft we'll press conference at the Starbucks. Shop. Right, exactly. And it'll be fine. And so, like, I see a couple things in the Ubisoft press conference. I was like, hey, yeah. you know, I don't have any pens. And, like, because you got to write some notes. I prepare my questions. Yes. Like, I like to write them down. Yes. To mentally sort of wrap around. I was like, hey, I'm going to go get these pens. But. Like the only like device we for whatever had reason, was all of our phones are fucked. Yeah, like, but my phone was picking up the the press conference, yes. so I like, hey, I'll leave it. Yes, I'll leave it. It's like I'm gonna go with these pens, but it's like at this like right A that's like four and a half blocks down the way. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna be gone a full fifteen minutes. Like I have to be soft. Yeah. I'll catch up. I'm like, all right, cool, bye. Yeah. So I go, <laughs> I go go to this right aid. I'm gone. You know, fifteen twenty minutes. I gotta wait in line. All these students are by the school. And like you. I get back. I'm like, oh, cool. I bought pens. Yeah. You're like, I texted you and said I had eight yeah, pens. I had, I had eight pens. I told pens. you when I left, I I'm going to buy well, pens. I literally came back. You, your phone just said, I have eight pens for me. I could have just given you that pen. I yes. have eight of them right here. You, you te- well, I've got five. Good. Together, we have <laughs> 13. The name, of the, the name of the group was like the V8s. And then you went down in rank. You were V8. Then you were V6. There's seven. Then... In that's the right. Oh. And eventually you have to become a V2, which is weird and backwards because the engines get bigger as the numbers go yep. up. Yeah. It's a game about numbers going up. <laughs> anyway, Ubisoft, then Transference, VR game, Spooky. My, so I didn't see, like, what is that? Uh, my, I did not see it either. It's about I, your therapist. And, sorry. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, okay. it's not. Right. Transference. Right. Yeah. Well, so the pitch that I heard was basically Dark Psychonauts. You go into someone else's mind. Wait. Oh. But then, so you're a therapist. Yeah, a therapist. I actually don't know enough of the setup. What I do okay. know is I talked to a couple people who are like, it's intense. It's intense in a way that's like, 
PTSD is involved, self harm is involved. There was no warning huh. about any of that stuff. Right, right, right. It was incredibly intense. Huh. And like, and it's in VR. It's a VR game in which right. self harm occurs, and that's like, sure, that could be rough. Right. I've seen strange days like that. Like, I'm, mm, that yeah. seems tough. Uh, so I'm curious, uh, but interesting to see. That sounds different than other VR right. te- like things I have seen. So. And that was the only VR game at Ubisoft, right? Yes. Okay. Skull and Bones. That thing booked up so quick. I tried to get an appointment to see that. We got there at eight, and it, like very quickly, it was like come back at eleven. Yeah, like, and I was what like, if we I ha- don't. Though? We, what if we did, and we had to come back yesterday and record <laughs> after that? We were up until so late last night already. So I still feel like wrecked from that. So yeah. Skull and Bones, a game about a Yale fraternity. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a fraternity. It's a secret society. It's the team. It's Ubisoft Singapore. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're very proud about. Being the people who figured out boats for, for Black Assassin's Flag, Creed, for which Black was, Flag, which was good. Did they also work on it for Assassin's Creed Three, or did they only work on it for Black Flag? I'm pretty sure Black Flag was okay. like their baby, or that yeah. part of it was their yes. baby. Yes, and so they made a, a piracy game, and they I said it's so the the demo at Ubisoft's thing was multiplayer. Yeah, is there a single player? Based on the dev, this is again coming from from Kotaku, who's, yeah. who's like everything that Blank showed yep. is really good. You go check those out. Based on the dev diary they posted, it sounds like there's a lot more in the game than just PvP C good. battles. So that, it would be Ubisoft doesn't seem like the kind of company that is for like no. something like this yes. would that like here's our brand new like giant right. new IP right. and it's you're not and also gonna, yeah yeah I'm I I'm like those the, sea I, I liked this the the ocean here's stuff the thing in I, that game a lot. Here's the thing that's really interesting is like they then showed this five v five thing right which again was like a little esports but not that it was a little yeah, 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 yeah. A little, as as um. Uh, good friend uh, Foben in our chat mm-hmm. said more like sea sports, <laughs> which is very good. Um, it's a five v five, and it's five v five with five ships. Sorry, it's five ships on five ships. Okay, this game is not Sea of Thieves, where it's like you're running around and it's a, it's, it's a dental ship like on ship combat. Like as you're what? Going, incidental. I thought you said dental. Well, that de- dent. Hmm. Dental ship. Is it like a Magic School Bus thing where they're like fighting inside like? Never mind. No, they're fighting on the ocean. Okay, they're, they're big boats. I guess in Sea of Thieves, like you're off doing your own thing. Yes, and in the in the course of doing that, you right. may run into Inci- other right. ships. In Sea of like, Thieves, it's incidental. Yes. This is five v five. Go fuck those ships so, up. We don't know what the single player portion looks like. Right. What if it was? What if it was like a uh, drop not drop and drop out, but kind of that incidental style of like sometimes you see a ship on the horizon, you don't know. There's what some it sort is. of like larger persistence. Yeah. yeah, what faction you join? Like those are the dreams for me of like games like this, where it's like, what if they really took a chance on the structure and it wasn't just right. the story of a young upstart pirate who's going to prove the, to the world that they were the best pirate? Whatever Blackbeard says, fuck that guy. I'm the new. I'm Greybeard. Right. I'm Redbeard. Whatever. And then there's a multiplayer. And then there's multiplayer. Right, but. I don't know. I'm gonna try to sneak into the show floor and, and try to play it yeah. later this week. Do you get any sense there's gonna be more? Because I, I like I like the naval combat in Black mm-hmm. Flag. It's it's cool. It also pales kind of quickly. Like it's not an entire game uh, to it to itself. But right? I thought what for some people really fell in love with that sh- and like wanted to go after like all of like the legendary mm-hmm. ships yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. That's what was fun. I I think uh, for me playing it, there was enough there that I could see them expanding that out. It wasn't enough for me in Black Flag, right. but it was a proof of concept for like something larger if they wanted to. And you know what? Like building like a weird, ambitious like ship game, like okay, go for it. Like that's also like yeah. part of the things that yeah. I admire about Ubisoft. Totally. Like, no one else is going to make that right. game. Like at this point what have we talked about? We've talked about the crew two, which I we share our thoughts on. We've talked about Mario plus Rabbids that looks like XCOM. Yep. We've talked about Transference, a VR game that's not like the other VR games being pitched should, to us. I'm gonna go and try and track that yeah. down this week. Skull and Bones, a five V five or an open whatever <laughs> pirate <laughs> game. Starlink Battle Battle for Atlas or like what I like to call it my my mortgage payments. <laughs> like I'm never gonna buy a house. This is a game in which I build little little fucking spaceships, and they're, they're like toys to life. But for me, so is this like it goes on top of the controller? It goes on top of the controller. If you look at this this trailer, it's very strange. Have you seen this, Rob? So it's a uh, it's Ubisoft Toronto. It's a sci-fi game. You're in space. This is the trailer that I believe was I in think Watch, this is Dogs Watch Dogs Two, 2 trailer yeah. that like fake leaked or whatever. Um, I, my connection fell apart in here because yeah. that's how it goes. The hell of a logo. It's sit here anyway. Yeah, we're gonna sit here wait wait the buffer. It. So it's you have a controller, um, and you put a toy on your controller that you like constructed, or and, you, buy and you construct it, and you construct. Okay. So you like so. There's in the trailer that they're like, yeah, we're going up against the bad guys, but guess what? 
they don't know about Starlink. There's also really good visual design. The spaceships are okay, but the characters have like a, a Star Wars Clone Wars vibe going. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then like, so it's Switch. And you just build the Switch spaceship. only? I don't know. It's Ubisoft, probably not. But that's also like, how else would you slide a thing? Like yeah. the, the Switch, like like as a controller, it does have sliding things built yeah. into it. Anyway, anyway, I like toys and I like space. Sure, I like starships and also and spaceships. You like things on your controller. I do like so to put things I'm on playing my, my space shooter. Yeah, but it's gonna feel better than normal space shooter because I got a toy. Because my spaceship, my micro machine <laughs> toy, yeah, but is look, gonna be look, like look, a hood look, ornament look, look, on the front of my controller. You're fighting these bad guys. And then you're like, oh no, they're, they're these big turtles or whatever are really dangerous. This this you know machine gun isn't working. Pop that off in the middle of combat, drop in this new laser cannon. That is a cool idea. That they put on a fucking ram and rammed them. That was cool as hell. It's but I gotta buy those things. Yeah, you damn right. Get in line behind me <laughs> and my wallet. That's oh, empty. they're all gone. Austin bought them I all. I bought them all. He's putting them on eBay. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm putting them in here I own on eBay so I can buy more <laughs> fucking spaceship toys. God damn it. If I put them up on my desk, it's... Ah! Ugh. It looks okay. The I like the style. Like, yeah, like... It's probably fine. It's a really... I'll say... Like, it's, it's also a, it's fall a, 2018, so like... What? Even know. Shut up! <laughs> Why? <laughs> who even... We're all, we're all gonna be dead by you that. You know what? I mean? I, so, uh... Jason Schreier had reported on that game after the Watch Dogs 2 right. trailer came out saying that Ubisoft didn't have full confidence in that game. And that part of the reason that it was uh, put into Watch Dogs 2 was like, let's see what the response is. And it didn't have the toy component right. to it. But I can also imagine that uh, the toy selection category like, yeah. is sort of falling apart. Like, a, like yes. it's you know it's not really as hot. Like Nintendo is yep. only doing Amiibos like, selectively yeah. now. They're, they're like, paired with games. Yes. Right, but it's not like... It's a, like Amiibo, it's like, here's Amiibo, Amiibo. 50 of them. You know, like, sure. they're, they're, it's very selective on a, on a per-game basis. Um, Lego Dimensions is winding yep. down. Yep. Uh, 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 Disney Infinity is canceled, and uh, to Johnny v. Skylanders will hang out as long as Skylanders can use to hang out. But it basically is not really. They're like skipping a year. They're slowing down, right? Okay. So it's. I, I wonder if part of this going out is like, what do people think of this? Yeah, like, right, right, do, right. do we still want to make toys in 2018? Like, if they don't, fall 2018 is a you, long time. You'll be soft. Time you'll be away. soft. If you cancel this, send me a couple. Of, no. Just send me okay. a couple. Put them in a box and just send them to Waypoint. Game on. Send them over here. Game on. Hey, Eve. Fucking <laughs> go on, go on Google. Be like, where is Vice at? And then just put, just put Austin. <laughs> just box of these toys. Yeah. Also Legos. Just send me some Legos. I'll build some spaceships. <laughs> I can Waypoint Build Club. Let's go. Um, Far Cry Five, which we I actually played that at the Sony event. But there was a limited yes, demo. Yes, it was just and like then a... And I played the longer yeah. demo at Ubisoft, which had like a little bit more meat on its bones. Mm-hmm. Did you also play that? Yep. What did you think? It felt De- a mm-hmm. lot like Far Cry. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I guess it was kind of... I was... And it, it's such a small slice. Mate. Like, I, I, you can't judge... You can't draw any conclusions <laughs> yeah. from, from what we played. Right. But it's still very much that you liberate the town... And then you go and you have your wacky hijinks adventures elsewhere. Um, and what it doesn't feel like is yeah. some sort of frontier justice uh, America. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. It, it doesn't feel like this dark Americana uh, no. story. I got a little bit of that in like a few things that happened. So, so the setup for this, for this demo is that it opens up with you reclaiming an outpost. But the outpost is a city. There's a town. It's a little. It's like a town of 43 people. That's being occupied by the cult, which name I forget. The the, the Eden uh, Project the Project Eden's, Eden's Gate. Gate, yeah, because they call them Peggy's, as like the, the slur, yeah. which is interesting. Um, the epithet, not the slur, a little different. Uh, and you get to choose uh, one of three buddies, right? I wish they'd bring back the Far Cry Two buddy system, which I'll talk about in a second because I know no one knows about that. But you could choose either Boomer the dog, Grace the sniper. Or the the one who is tall and has a, a all I can remember is the sniper and the dog. What is his third? What's the third one? Princeton. Pr- pr- uh, oh, the Ray three, like, Donovan side characters. Ray. Mm, what's Ray, his name? Ray Donovan. Carl. Franz. No, that's yeah. a guy at Vice. Um, China Mieville. Is that yeah. him? Whatever his name is. What's well, funny because he's the second part of that yeah. quest too. He's the guy with a plane. It's like it's a guy who has a plane. He drives a plane. And he drops bombs. It's like a biplane, right? Yeah, it's a biplane. But but it's I like that that opening choice of just like okay, how are you going to tackle this thing? If you have the dog, then you're going to kind of mix it up. The dog is kind of stealthy. 
the the sniper is is like a little mix of both. You can be like, hey, shoot that person, or you can be like, hey, I'm gonna shoot that person. You you watch my back, mm-hmm. or the the plane guy, you're like, hey, just drop some bombs on those motherfuckers, distract them, just I'll fuck go them in, fuck them up. You got bombs. Um, and then yeah, it's an outpost. It's an outpost. I climbed yeah. a tower. The first time I played it, I got in, got dirty, and like fought people. Is this an expanded version of the one we saw at the place? Yeah. So, well, so no, it's that one to begin with. Oh. And, and then, then it goes. And then the thing, the second step is then you're in that town because it's not an outpost. It's gotcha. a town. Gotcha. And you, you're in that little town. You can go into the bar. You can talk to people. Hmm. There was a so dude. It slows down. It slows down. There's people in that Which community. Our fear, like, that it wouldn't do. Yeah, is like it wouldn't slow down at all. And I don't want to. I'm not trying to sell it as like it slows down. I, right, I didn't. Right, right. I didn't meander in that space. Yeah. I was there for five minutes. Right. I walked around. I looked at some signage. I played a song in the jukebox, which was cool. I talked to an NPC who had some interesting thing to say that I can't. Oh, he was like it was kind of a gruff guy who was like I was in the Marines or some shit like that. And then eventually he turned around to when he was like, and that's how I got into meditation. And I was like, <laughs> all right, Reggie's here, that's I guess. Good. So it's like, yeah. Which was like, okay, and cool. And now I'll run Nintendo. And now I'll run Nintendo. What do you think of them rabbits, boy? Um, and then you talk to the, the bartender who is yeah. one of the characters. Uh, and she's like, hey, they're fucking us all up here. We hate them. You should go hook up with the guy who has the plane. I hear they're putting pressure on him too. The pressure. The pressure. Hashtag the pressure. Um, and then it kind of like, it doesn't, it was a weird demo. <laughs> did you go off, like off the the path at all? Not too just, much. Yeah. Um, also, like the world is kind of constrained in that demo. Like there's oh like, you're you right. go too for too far in one direction. You're it right. Starts like it's just know, like hey you're going out of the demo yeah. area. Or yeah, the Assassin's Creed um, that way where it's like oh, it has these barriers that go up. Okay. Like hey. Back, back to yeah. demo yeah. area, come on. So then in the longer demo, you go to the guy, Ray. I went fishing. You go, yeah, you go to the guy. Well, you go to the guy first, and he's under attack at his, at his like, yeah. uh, what's the word where planes get captured? Hanger. Yeah. Planes yeah. get captured? Where are you captured? Capt- where are you captured? Oh, I thought you said planes. Oh, you know, what planes, planes get, get captured? captured. Yeah. Like, they get captured. This game's like Pokemon, but for planes. <laughs> no, to, to capture an aircraft, you just take off your hat, you whip <laughs> it, you whip it at the airplane. <laughs> exactly. Um, and you go in there, he's under attack by the cultists, and you right. fight them off, and he's like, I, you know, I want to, I want to get vengeance on them. They have, they have explosives all over the place, but my wife says, well, if I go out and do that, they'll kill me, and I got a daughter, and I don't want to let my daughter live without a dad. I mean, that, so what if you go okay. and blow these up? And the lady I was like, yeah, okay. And I'm like, and then you go to go get the plane, and next to the plane, there's a guy fishing. There's a guy fishing. And here's the thing that I did. I went, oh, no. I went, oh, there's a fishing rod. And then I shot the fishing rod by mistake when I was trying to pick it up. And he went like, whoa, and then ran away. And then the Peggy's heard me shooting a gun from nearby. And I came in, there was a whole gun or fight. Or that guy told them. He was that a collaborator. Didn't that didn't happen. That guy was a collaborator. I mean, if he was, that's actually really cool. I don't think that's true. Let's not say. I, just... I think they heard me shoot a fucking And then AK. the AI was like, run to those gunshots. <sighs> that's probably what happened. So you went yeah. fishing. I went fishing. Did you catch anything? I did. Uh, so it, it's a, it, like true to Montana. It's fly fishing, which uh, is weirdly fishing. unique. Like it's a different type of fishing than I yes. see in any video game ever. Yeah. So you're what well, you're, you're casting. Uh, you're casting the fly, mm-hmm. and you throw it out there, and then you sort of tease the tease the fish closer right. to you, uh, and then the fish grabs it. And then you gotta you gotta play it you gotta play it uh, you gotta let it like run the run the line out a little bit and then like let it get tired and you reel it back in a little bit let it run out some more uh, it was it was it was fun it was nifty um, it's a mini game and a far cry game yeah. like I'm not gonna be like right. oh damn yeah. this is the one with fishing I can't wait to go like <laughs> I'm gonna fish this every game has river. something to say yeah. right yeah. the thing that I want from those characters is not just so so eventually you can go into the thing and get the plane right. and blah blah blah. Uh, and you get into dog fights, and maybe we'll talk about that in a second. But the thing yeah. that I want from the the side stuff in general is to fill in the, the sense of the world. I want. I wish I could. Did you, could you talk to the fisherman? Did he say anything about the world? I think he like he said things, but it wasn't like directed to me. You okay. Know? Like he, I think he just sort of spots lines. Okay. The thing I want from the non just random NPCs is I would love for them to go back to the Far Cry Two buddy system. Which mm-hmm. was a system in which you developed a relationship with the with the NPCs. Right. They would pull you out of the shit when you died, so you didn't get a game over screen at first. You right. Just got like dragged away, handed a gun, you fart way out, your way out, and then you're vulnerable. 
They could die. They could get wounded. Yep. You could, by mistake, run them over with a car, for instance, as a thing that maybe <laughs> happened. Saying on... that maybe that you might have been involved in a, in a collision. Have you not seen? I killed. I killed my good good friend, uh, whose name I forget. And oh, uh, what uh, a good uh, Kor- Kor- Singh, and also a zebra in like an amazing double hit on video at Giant Bomb. I like, ran over the dude who I thought was an enemy, which, which is like in military gear. I didn't know. And then could you save him with medicine? I was all out. And then I opened the, I parked the car and opened the door, and the door just slammed into a zebra that happened to be next oh my to God. my car, and it just like fell over. I once, um, it's very good. Like, I once parked a jeep on like a hill or something, mm-hmm. and it like rolled a little bit or something, and it just like tapped. The zebra didn't move. Mm-hmm. It just sort of tapped the zebra, and the zebra let out this little sigh and fell over dead. <laughs> Like oh Far Cry God. has so Far Cry Two has the most pathetic animal death. <laughs> that's true of any game it's I've true. ever played. Um, but that's what I want from them is to be maybe a little vulnerable to maybe right. have just like to fill in some details about the world. And I also wonder. Uh, we were talking about this when we saw the game. Like the context of when this game is being released in is yes. different than the context it was developed in. Yes, they obviously started development on this game three and years I ago. And I wonder if one of the ways in which they might be able to meet what people are thinking about this game is in some of that side stuff. Right. right? Like it isn't like the broad strokes like right. villain. Right. This is something they could have arc. been a little more agile with and develop new stuff in the last like year. Like if they suddenly go, wow, this is what people are responding to right. or even if or even if they thought well, about that ahead of time and wanted to do that, I can see that happening more in the side stuff sure. than in like the, the villain and like the main arc of the story. Let's spin the other way though really quick, which is I have never seen that many black people in a cult from Montana. Is there a lot? I haven't seen that. Before. I'm not saying it's an excessive amount. But like more than... I, I killed a lot of black dudes. Yeah. And that to me suggests that we're going to get the version of this that is like, unlike the other cults, we believe in racial equality and also that the end is coming. And also that everybody who isn't one of us has to die. And like, we believe all the stuff that's built up around racism in America, except the racism part. That part, there are, <laughs> some people are better than others and deserve to live. They're just the ones who believe who are us. It's just us. <laughs> It's Far Cry Five. It's Far Cry. a diverse team. It's a diverse team. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. Excuse me. We are not. We are not your grandfather's religious cult. <laughs> right. Religious exactly. millennial cult. So Sorry, millenarian. Not millenarian. Different. Millennial. Different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Which is fine, and it's it's actually funny because Far Cry Two did the same thing in reverse, which is when they developed Far Cry Two, and the development team has spoken about this, right. like a GDC talk. They went out of their way to make all the enemies you fight multinational, multi-ethnic. Right. And they're like, oh, they're mercenaries. Those are that's like a, he's Dutch. He's a white dude from South Africa. Yeah. Just like a bunch of people who are the enemies. Don't worry about it. You're not just gonna go to Africa and kill a bunch of white people or black people. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't worry. But you're also not gonna go to Africa and just kill a bunch of white people. Well, either. Oh, great. Either Finally. way, you just you kill everybody. Things are different now. <laughs> exactly. Uh, though the Far Cry Two thing that was actually nice at the time was like. You literally couldn't play as like a white American dude. You right. play white people from Ireland and from Yugoslavia and from right. like all these other places, but you couldn't you couldn't play as like Bra Ra John Military Marine Rambo, who's my OC. Please do not steal John Military Marine Rambo. <laughs> United so, States. Someone get on the fan art. Right. I can't find the fucking guys playing the playing guy's name. Yeah. I can't do it. I keep wanting to say Ray Donovan. It's not Ray it's Donovan. A, it's not that big of a deal, Austin. You can so, fucking let this go. Donovan and Sons? Yes. Mitchell? Yes. His name was Columba. <laughs> uh, so. Just the, say yes so that Austin can let it go. You fly around in the plane. Right, you get in the plane. That Columbo gave you. <laughs> Mr. Columbo to you. Mr. Columbo. And, uh, you know, you're flying around and you, you bomb some silos full of uh, homemade explosive. Nick Rye. It's, it's Nick Rye. Ryan Sons. He's got I a plan. That. Has chat. the chat. Thanks, chat. You uh, fly around in this thank plane you for releasing that has rockets chat. and a Gatling gun. It's a really well equipped, yeah, uh, like converted Cessna. So he was one of the characters like, that they introduced at the Judges Week thing and yeah. dropped a trailer for him. Mm-hmm. And he his whole setup is like, my granddaddy fought for this country. My daddy fought for this country. And it's like showing the plaques and like the ribbons and the, the medals of, of service from World War II and Vietnam yeah. or Korea. And like they flew. They flew and, and fought for this country. I never thought I'd have to. I thought because they did, I wouldn't have to. But well. And then it's like picks up a Gatling gun, hooks it onto his crop duster. <laughs> and like, I guess I'm going to have the rise. Ex- are going to have to fly again. Can they explain like the larger context of this game? Like how like just an out- outright yes. war is occurring? They shut and, down. Like, the rest- 
They shut down all the ways in and out of the county. That's their pitch. Who did? The bad guys. The Peggy's have like okay gone to the border of the whatever the road like is. It's 2017 and like oh they put up oh, borders. They, oh sorry, they also they also took over the cell phone towers. They cut them. They cut oh, the God, towers. Come on. They cut the Wait, towers, Patrick. Does that mean if you climb those towers, I don't you can fuck. reactivate them? Maybe. I'm not maybe gonna say, I didn't see any towers. Maybe you just have to climb some towers. The map is actually really cool in this. The map is like. 2D, 3D. Yeah, it looks good. That's all. I don't have like a big picture out of it. I don't know what that means. It's 3D. It's like it's like a like depth. Yeah, it's depth. Oh, okay. It's like oh, there's a tree. Like a relief yeah. map. No, this is like 3D. It's like a 3D map. Okay. It's like a tree. Okay. Cool. Is it like in the game? You hold up. It's no, like a it's like the it's like opposite. Book. That's the thing. It's so like the opposite. Like opens a pop up. That would actually be the Hope best. Money. That'd be really. That'd be really, that'd be really good. Clever. If you open it, oh, that'd be good. Yeah. What did they play this week already that did have something similar to that where? It wasn't just, um, I mean, obviously we played Sea of Thieves, yep. which did have that map. Yep. But I played something else this week that had like, oh, it was Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. Oh, I looked at the map. The map. You no. open the map, it's a pamphlet. It's a tourist pamphlet That's for good. the zone you're in. That's it's good. It's like the map is in the middle that gives you like where things are. And then like all around the edges, there's like really cool little notes about like, oh, well, this is this like. Come check this out. Like, yeah. hey, we're and over I bet here. You there are super moons where if you would go to those places. It's neat. That is neat. Yeah. So you're flying around, and a Peggy plane uh -huh. shows up. You bomb all their uh, places, and you're like, ah, come on home. Yeah, it's like a, the flying a Peggy 18 or something like that. And uh, <laughs> you know, they, they start engaging you. It's like, the Peggy's are on Wait, you. okay. Um, yep. <laughs> and the dogfighting is kind of cool. Yeah. But also, the enemy pilot really liked to fly really close to you. Yeah. And so there were all these moments where, it, like, just became a turning duel, which is the problem that a lot of air combat games yeah. have is they turn into turning duels. Yeah. Which, by the way, totally a historical thing. Like, oh really? Uh, oh yeah, World War Two, huge problem. Novice pilots would lose track of what's happening, and they would just like start turning because then you can like track your progress uh, relative to the horizon. Okay. But like the good pilots wouldn't do that because if you're just predictably turning, you get killed. Yeah. 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 And Far also the cry. problem with that in the demo was just. I was right up against the wall, and so it was constantly like, "Oh, you got to turn around! You got to turn yeah, around!" Yeah, I'd keep luring around. him into yeah. uh, you know the the the, the, the fly zone yeah. basically, and and fight him, and then eventually, because we kept doing these snapshot passes, uh, the AI just seemed to hit a point where it was like, "You know what? Just just I'm take fly it straight." Out. Just wow. yeah, like the game basically was like, "You know, you're." You're maybe not as good as Nick Rye would be doing. <laughs> if, if but Nick, who is? Yeah, well, who exactly. Could be? So this it's thing, in his blood, after all. So this this Peggy plane basically turned into the equi the aerial equivalent of like a Far Cry zebra, and I just kind of put it down. But it still felt good. It feels pretty good. So so fire I that's gonna be that like game. Like I I, I just I, I like that was already presumed. Yeah. I guess maybe I thought from some of these demos and the character vignettes yeah, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. art. That maybe it'd be a little more of a focus on like, look, you know all that far cry right, shit right. is there. They're not gonna pitch on that. They're pitching on that other thing, which right. is like it's been two years since a modern day far cry right. game. Right, right. You're gonna in, come on, come over and blow stuff up with us, man. We're gonna have right. wacky characters, you're gonna get in the truck, the truck's gonna have Voss, there's a Voss like hula hoop oh, dancer in the truck, yeah, uh -huh. hula dancer in the truck. And it's like, yeah, it's so good this game. It's gonna be yeah. this game. Of course. What I'm gonna expect, what I expect at this point is like a handful of really cool quests. That's yep. what I, that was what would be Make it be a better one of those, and then and then maybe some systemic stuff. I really like being able to tell my dog to go like distract somebody or disarm them or whatever. I like being able to like, I still like being able to like, look down at this this little town and be like, okay, how do I want to go about this? I did that town twice. I had did fun you play with the sniper times. buddy? I did once. I did sniper buddy once. I did dog once. She is terrifyingly effective. She's like, very good. I basically like I killed a couple dudes. Yeah. And then every five seconds, you just heard this like rifle boom. She got killed in mine briefly. Not killed. She got like yeah. put out of commission. <laughs> the, the, the ninety <coughs> second, yeah. uh, right? The demo. Well, I but, think, but I prevented that by uh, hijacking a uh, a bulldozer. I think. Ooh. Like yeah. So one of the one of the Peggy's rolls up in a piece of construction equipment. Yeah. And like hops out and starts shooting me. I'm like, wait, there's there's loose construction equipment around here. I'm just right. gonna drive that. So I started driving around this town, like smashing into their their their, that uh, their cool tacticals talent. and stuff like that. And I think they got so distracted by the guy who was using the uh, you know using the rototiller right. basically that the sniper just like clean, bop, cleaned bop, out bop. the town. Yeah, like, that's the thing again. Like here we are again, like talking about a Far Cry game in which 
you're like, oh, this is how I did the, the clear right. out the space. And I'm like, oh, well, what I did was I had the dog, and I used the dog to distract them. And then I went up, and like I was going to do the stealth kill on him, but I fucked up the stealth kill. And yeah. he just turned around. I was like, ah! And I shot him a bunch. Yeah. And then did it was you a whole the thing. Dog? Okay. That, I'm glad you brought this up. Okay. This game, did you not see it? I didn't play with the dog. That This game was the best dog pet I've ever seen in my life. That a lot, everyone petted the dog when we were watching that demo. It's such and, a good dog pet. Yep. And then I, it's so good. You, you have to know its face, which is good, because that means you have to make eye contact, mm-hmm. which is the best part of pets in general. Like, hey, you're looking at me, you're a pet. I'm a You I'm appreciate a, the shit out of what I'm doing. Yeah, you're paying attention. I'm a person. Sometimes you go through your day, and the people in your life are indifferent to you, which is not a judgment on the people, because people have things in their lives. People are busy. People have uh, responsibilities. They have they have anxieties. Maybe they don't want to look you in the eye. They don't want to tell you like, "Hey, I love you, Austin." For instance, but a dog or a cat that you love and take care of, they'll look you in the eye and they go, "You're the one who feeds me. You're the one who 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 pets me, who brushes me, who takes care of me. I'm making that good eye contact." And then in this game, you hold down the square button, <laughs> press square to pet, and you lean down and you start Does petting it say, the dog. It says pet. It says pet. I think it's a you pet. You hold it down? You hold it. Press. You hold it. It's a hold. Like a good pet. You, like, it's a hold. Well, that's a hug. Hugs are a subdivision of pet. Might be the other... I don't think that's... There's, mm. there's an overlap. There's a Venn diagram. Okay. And the dog leaps up at you a little bit. Oh, not no. enough. Not too oh, much. No. Not too much. It's not standing up on its hind legs. No, not no, that's being over aggressive. But it leans up. It licks you once. It, like, it's right there. You give it a little scratch. It's really Around the good. ears? Yeah, of course. Like, how long? I wish it was at any time. Like, in the yes. middle of battle? Like, oh. <gasps> we're all going down! Let's pet! I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find... I need... I want to pet dogs in video Let's games. Let's pet is my uh, <laughs> favorite new... It's <laughs> my new... Uh, uh, Everybody Pets is the Everybody new... Everybody Pets? Sony pet dog petting game. It used to be It used to be called... What uh, was Ubisoft's key party game? What was the golf game I'm thinking of? Oh. Oh, the one Wait, that got like, canceled? Dare. We, we did. Oh, yes. That's a different, uh, different type uh, that's of what, That's, that's <laughs> Ubisoft's Let's Pet. Like, uh, yeah. Let's Pet. The game by Ubisoft. Let's Pet. Go kidnap some planes. <laughs> Go shoot <laughs> those planes. I'm going to pet those planes. Uh, and that was it for the Ubisoft press conference. Except, one more thing. The thing that you imagine every year. You say, what will happen this year? And you nope. Go, no. No, it won't. Nope. No. Turns out. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is in development. Michelle Ancel came out and was like... Literally sobbed. Literally sobbed. And in a way that I... One of the cutest ways. It was really good to see... He's one of my favorite developers. Like, I... I, The the, the Rayman games he's been working on the last, like, couple of years have been uh, exceptional platforms. Yeah, I've heard that. Like, really, really well made. Not just beautiful, but well... Like, just incredibly... As designed... Especially the second one. Like, Rayman Origins was pretty good, and then uh, the more recent one was was even better and, like, right. tight, very, played very well. But uh, I'm just... I don't know if this game's going to be any good, but I'm glad, I'm glad he's going to make it. I want to see I want what that, I want that team to be able to... And also, he wants to make it, right? Like, this is the thing when we talk about, like, yeah. Half-Life 3, well, right? Like, it, like you almost I got can't bad talk, news for people. You can't almost can't talk about this game without talking about, like, in the pantheon of, like, games that have taken forever. Right, The like, Last Guardian. Last Guardian. Like, Last Guardian seems like a game that was in development for far too long, and they just decided to finish it. Right. Right? Like, I, it didn't seem like... Yeah. I'm not, I'm not calling any bullshit on, like, for me to as, like, passion or no, interest. No, no, But, like, the no. development of that game was so weird and so bizarre. It was clearly a PlayStation 3 game. That but a PlayStation got, 2 roots. Yes. It still came out on PlayStation yes. 4. Um, this game, like, he has wanted to make, like... If that was one of the Half-Life 3, just don't don't make, don't make Half-Life it. 3. Like, just don't make that game. Yep. He wants to make this game. Yes. Doesn't mean it'll be good. Yep. Doesn't mean it'll be interesting. Nope. But like he wants to make this game. A man does not come out and go like, like full tears. Yeah. Because he's wanted to make this for people. Well, and for he's himself. been making it, right? They yes. see on and off set on versions. versions. Right, for years and has not been able to say that. Has not been able to come out and say, listen, my team and I, we've been working really hard. Please understand. Please understand. We wish we could tell you about it, but we're just not confident in it. Like, you could, like, if you read between the lines in interviews, like, politically, like, things right. were weird between, right. like, him and Ubisoft. Right. Like, he went off right. to make these right. Right. Uh, 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 Rayman games, which were fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he, you know, what happened to Wild? Anyone what happened to Wild? Like, that was a game that he was working on, and, like, just Where's disappeared. Wild, I, yeah, I, it's a good question. I would like to know what happened to Wild. You could turn into a snake or a bird. It was interesting. Yeah, but like 
it's weird thinking like when he made that presentation for a while, people were like, oh, this is what he's been working on this whole time. Right. In the back of his head, he was, I don't know, I can't read his heart right. mind, but what about Beyond Good and Evil? What about, I wish I could be here. I had to do about, something. Yeah, I wish I could be talking about Beyond Good and Evil too. Um, I hear that game is actually in the air. So right. I'm, I'm curious to, to hear more about it in the future at some point. And I'm happy for like fans. I, I'm a fan of that game. Like, I never finished it. I know there was a cool pig person. Yep. I know there was Jade. It's who, like yep. your uncle, right? Like your like uncle, you, the pig uncle is like pig. your guardian. Yeah, it's, it's been a long uncle time Nick? since I played. Uncle is Ray? What's his name? Do- Look, I just I remember it was like that? Uncle his pig? Name? Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan. Right, it's a weird like pig language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. I mean, like there's a lot of like weird symbols or right. the Ray the, Donovan. In the human tongue, the yes. closest we can become Translate. is Ray Princeton Donovan. <laughs> Tie in with Showtime. It's weird. The, you gotta fund it somehow. Yeah. Christ. So beyond good well, okay, so, wait. By the way, wait, 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 wait. Because that's that is the question about uh-huh. this game. Is they were like, and now you can help us become make this game by being being our space monkeys or whatever. Wait, help what? us make this game. What? Help us make this they game. Explain What's what that, that means. They, I don't know. I'm worried. But they announced they announced Beyond Good Evil Two. One. I uh, hope it isn't. Like, no even year. Which even though they said they've been working on this game for years, which right. made it seem a little bit odd. But yeah, in the back of my mind. Okay, being the cynic, at some point, and I'm not saying Beyond, Beyond Good and Evil to is uh-huh. going to do this. I'm just saying it, it got me thinking. At some point, a publisher is going to say, "Do we? You say you want this? Yeah. But like, let's crowdfund this." I'm not yeah. saying this game is going to do that. I'm not saying this game. All is right, going I'm going to read that. you from the thing. Yep. Join the space monk. All right, real quick, we should set it up. Uh-oh. Wait, you. I'm going to read this in a second. The space monk. Yep. I'm going to. Re- I'll read it in a second, but I just want to say briefly. There's a monkey in this trailer that's yes. really setting this up as space monkeys. It's a prequel to the game. You're in space. Mm-hmm. It's before Jade and, and Ray Donovan showed up. So Wait. Hold on. I'm going to read this. Okay. Join the Space Monkey program. Be among the first ones to share in developing Beyond Good and Evil 2 with us. Hey. What's that mean? What happens when we click? All right. Pretend we're going to everyone gather around. Yep. Participate, inspire, play. BGE2 Space Monkey program. The Space Monkey program is our way of inviting passionate members of the community to be the first to play, to share ideas and inspirations, and to crash test. Okay, all of the creative. All right, I, I think elements. we can walk back our great Okay, sphere. this doesn't seem like anything like this. Hold this is not the time. Hold on. I just find this a little ironic, given that Beyond Good and Evil, I think, was about animal testing. Remember, they were rounding up. Were they rounding up the cute little animal kids? I, I, I think it was Sonic. Like Fifteen years or whatever. No, it was it the is. same thing. It was a Sonic. It's Beyond Good and no, there's no Sonic. 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 There's no Sonic. It's, no, it's a Wait. game. Wait. So, so what Robotnik did. Yeah. Robotnik gathered well, up. I thought you were trying to imply that it's part of Sonic. I'll prove it isn't. I'm just saying. Where's Sonic been? Sonic Forces, you make your own OC. My OC is my OC, and I'm going to put him in every game. My name is my name. My name is my name. <laughs> exactly. Someone's going to do a wire reference count on this whole set of streams. And just, <laughs> that's going to be bad. So I was gonna log in to participate on this. I don't remember what email my Ubisoft account is tied to. Yeah, okay. do I want to hit Facebook? So, so no, it doesn't sound like they're about to ask you for money. It no, doesn't sound so that's like good. That. We walked that back. Yes, this is like I still it. think that will happen someday. We'll get there. Well, like I guess Shenmue it'll isn't actually quite happen that. in about no. six months. Sega didn't. Sega didn't he, ask you to do it. Like Sega, Sega allowed you Suzuki. Right. Like Sega owns the Shenmue right. license. Yes, 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 yes. But they allow you to go to do, do something it for else. Us. Right, yes. With it. In about six months, uh, Ubisoft, like Eve, is going to like throw on a video. Yeah. He's, gonna be, he's like, we must fend off this hostile takeover. Oh, and right. And I need your help to do it. To save I Ubisoft. About that. I forgot and about the. Keep Ubisoft. The Vivendi. The great game company. The Beyond Evil 2 is about. Vivendi. In real... <sighs> what if that's how he got a Greenland? What if he was like. <laughs> And what if we, what I will rally the, the troops. Right. Or what if it was like <gasps> Michelle Upshell was like, oh my God. and then there's a smaller Wait. thing where there's like a, there's a game company, there's a small company that's being taken over by a big company, and he was just like, yes, that. That is the whole game. <laughs> like that, the Wait. whole game. So, like, Dark Knight of the Soul. Uh-huh. Eve is like, like it, it cannot be done. I cannot fend off this. I cannot fend off Vivendi. This, this takeover off of the... It's Vivendi, it's, right? It's, Vivendi's, yeah. Vivendi's coming for me. Yeah. And then, and then someone's him. like... Him. Not the company. Him. Well, I actually, Mr. Doctor feels... Vivendi. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot a game before. Oh, there's, there's always been a weirdly personal element to this take uh-huh. as well. So, like, they might be coming. I mean, I've him. seen Ray Donovan. 
But so he's like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I've, I, I have, I've no, I've no cards left to play. And then someone's like, What oh. if you spend? Oh. What if? <laughs> remember what Marshall Foch said. <laughs> my, my flanks are holding. My center cannot hold. Situation excellent. I attack. He's going to attack by throwing billions of dollars behind <gasps> Beyond Good and Evil. He's a bank of the company. Destroy the company so that there's nothing to take over. You can't take over <laughs> a company that's filed for bankruptcy. Okay. Oh. Ubisoft's Twitter and blog uh, posted a description <laughs> of the game. It's an online space sci-fi exploration game capturing the spirit of Beyond Good and Evil 1. That's not what that first game was, right? Not really, no. It took photos. It That's what I remember. Fuck. I played Agents of Mayhem. <laughs> How was that? I forgot to sneak that into our last podcast. Yeah. Last... I'm going to talk about that a few I, seconds. I was not... I saw it last year. Yes. Uh, what, what did you see of it last year? A really long presentation that was unnecessary. Yeah, was, they, was, it was not that for me. Was there mayhem? Not enough. Um, it was, it was, so, I think people wanted more Saints Row. Yeah. I wanted more Saints Row. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked when they mashed up Saints Row with Crackdown. I thought it was like a really yes. smart way to evolve that series and do something different with it. I didn't know what I wanted from, I wanted something different. Yeah. And I found Agents of Mayhem to be, uh, trying too hard to be funny and it falling flat, um, yes. uh, from a humor perspective. And then the gameplay they were showing, I played like half an hour of it. Like mm-hmm. They had like a decent chunk for me to mess around with. Just nothing about it, that part grabbed me. So, so I'm played, curious a whole year later. Yeah, I played for an different. hour. I played for, I didn't know it was an hour long appointment. And there was no presentation. They were like, all right, sit down. Like, uh, I'm there with, uh, I, forget, I forget her name, Kate something. Right. Was a producer who worked with like mm-hmm. a lot of the systems, gameplay design people. And she was like, all right, like. We're gonna let you play through this one mission, and also just do whatever you want in the open world, and like fuck around with the base, and look at all the characters, like right. all the skills that you want. If you have any questions about like how you upgrade characters or what the the synergies are between, like, go ahead. Like, it's here's the game. Basically, right. it's like here's the game. You know, twelve hours in, with a bunch of stuff unlocked already. Go for it. And that was a really good way to play that game mm-hmm. because it meant that I got my head around the bigger loop. I'd seen the smaller loop right. in their presentations and stuff, which were like. You're gonna shoot guys and then double jump, and it's it's Saints Row Crackdown right. again, or it's it's but it's not Saints Row because it's not as funny as Saints Row, and I I'm gonna stick to that. In general, I don't think that this game is anywhere near as funny. No, um, I mean I don't. I played for an hour. I didn't see a ton of story content. Even watching the trailers, like right. it's it's referential in a way that feels like it's right. trying too hard. So, but the thing that the thing that I think is working for me, one is just the combat. It feels actually this is a weird one to say. It takes a lot of what I liked about the Mass Effect Andromeda combat. Okay. The agility. The like, oh, I'm going to zip around to this other guy. You can do a double jump and you can do an air dash. Or like a lot of characters have air dashes. Some characters have like a cloak or something instead. Like it right. gives like mobility abilities. Um, mobility abilities. Mm. Mobility. Mm. Uh, and doing that was really cool. Like oh, I'm fighting this huge juggernaut enemy and I'm going to freeze him with one character. And then I'm going to like dash over twice, switch to another character, and then shoot him in a weak spot in the back. Right. Felt really good. Um, the characters and the way they level up is really interesting because, so if you played the Saints Row games, you know that as you get money or whatever, you get to like one in, in three or sorry, in four, you start to do like special abilities, yep. but all the way back to like one or two, you would just be like, Oh, I get more damage. I have more ammo in my guns. I have, I'm faster. I'm stronger. It's so more HP in this. All of the skills are way more specific than that. So like there's a character named Daisy. I want to say who's like. A roller derby girl who has yep. a Gatling gun. And one of her skill sets is just like, oh, she spins up the Gatling gun more quickly. And every character has specific hmm. skills around that stuff. And then, like, it gets to be almost MMO-ish or skill, very skill-focused. It almost felt like uh, a, a, a Dragon Age game or a, or almost like a MOBA in some senses where it's like, I'm building out, this is not just Oni the Assassin. This is my version of Oni. This is the build that mm-hmm. I like the most. Yeah. Um, and so for Oni, for example, he's like a Japanese like Yakuza assassin, mm-hmm. uh, and his whole thing is if he gets headshots, uh, other characters nearby, other NPCs and their enemies get scared and run away. Hmm. And so you start chaining those head- headshots together, and that eventually, and his special ability is like hit RB, oh. get one automatic headshot for free. And so like, gotcha. oh, okay, this stuff actually starts to get a little more complex and a little more like I'm building combos between characters, like freezing people, and and that 
I still don't know that the, the humor is there for me. Um, there's a mission where you, you go after a... You're going after like a big evil, super evil corporation or something. I, they're called Legion. They're like bad guys. They're secret agents. Right. They're bad secret agents. And they're like the minister of greed, the minister of, of another bad one, sloth. All the all the sins. <laughs> uh, there's seven of them, I think. Pretty serious. Yeah, the minister of sloth, the, the minister of wrath, whatever. And I was going, sires. yeah, basically. And you go, I went after like a pop star who was like a pop star slash inventor named August Gaunt, which is like a, a okay shitty name. Mm-hmm. And he's like a shitty like Instagram star slash pop idol who sings and invents new things. And like he's like a living Black Mirror episode. Like he's like. Everybody needs the new gaunt gauntlets or whatever, and right. like, and you put them on, and then guess what? You're a zombie now, right? Um, guess what? Technology is bad. <laughs> ah. Black Mirror. Uh, it's, and we, it's weird um, that the Saints Row games had largely mediocre gameplay yep. that was made up for the fact yep. that like they were both subversive and, and this, funny, over the top, and like just went for like flip it. took it took a joke and said yeah, yeah, just yeah. went way too far yep. in a way that didn't always work, but you appreciated. Right. The commitment to the yes. joke, and it's interesting. And eventually found their way into, we're all wrong. Sorry, there has been a Fast and the Furious game. Yeah, I was it's the Saints Row series. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Yes. Like, it's like the characters are great. Even most. the arc in those of you know, those games, like, oh, this isn't that good. This is a little like try hardy, and like the second one's like, oh, there's something here. It's still a little. Mm. Yeah. And then eventually three and four, are like, oh wow, like I love these characters. They yes. have a heart. They're getting there. They're like they're finally treating their women characters slightly. Being better. like a dead character that comes but, back. Right, it's all there. Actually, Han. killing killing Gat is pretty crucial in that series because it makes the is other characters start. The Han of... rem- yes, pretty much. It makes them start reminiscing about like what they mean. I'm always going to be an Asian guy. <laughs> I'll just put it out there. Why? Wait, Johnny Gat's Asian? What? Yes. You he's just he's played... just a dude with sunglasses. I didn't. I didn't Played describe the Asian any... guy from Was Taikim. Yeah, I just I didn't describe any of his name is Gat like Gun like I didn't describe any ethnicity. Rob, that is not his given name. <laughs> he was, his parents are not from the Gat line. <laughs> They're not the Gat family. I don't think. I look, Johnny Gat it's, lore. It's Saints Row. I don't assume any of these characters like have a backstory beyond their ridiculous. I, you know, I could go to the Saints Row wiki, but I'm gonna go to the Villains wiki instead. This is a wiki all about villains on the internet. This is our new series. Austin <laughs> goes to a wiki. Johnny Gat. He's the deuterogonist of the Saints Row video game series. Good. It doesn't say what his. Uh, Johnny King is one of his aliases. King is like a pretty popular. Notable Asian American, Larry King. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I, I don't think Asian Mayhem is out in August, and that is a thing that I feel better about not having played it. I was ready to like completely write it off. I'm, I will, uh, as opposed to like a new Saints Row, yeah, in which I was like, I'm in, I'm gonna play it regardless. My hope is, I'm, I'm, I'm I want to give it a genuine shot, right. give it a chance to win me over. Here's what I, it felt like. Saints Row 1 again, in a sense, of like, oh, there's something here. Right. They need some time to get it. Uh, I bet of the 12 or whatever, 13 characters that you can play as, I'll find my favorite three to five, and I'll ignore all the ones who I think have bad senses of humor. Right? I'll ignore right. the ones that are just like a walking 80s reference. And they have, that, that team has, uh, there's been a lot of turnover in between uh, Saints Row and Agents of Mayhem. Yes. Like, there yes. was a, a lot of people that, like, totally. Not, not because they were a, a bad studio, just yep. like, but yep. there was a, a, like, a lot of, a, specifically, like, mission specific to, like, three and four, like, yeah. missions you think of that you were like, that, that made Saints Row Saints Row, yeah. or like, that version of Saints Row. What I love, a lot of those people have left. What I, what I realized, I think we talked about this a little bit last night, I was thinking about dev teams and, and, and platform holders in, like, sports analogy terms, like, it's a beer to rebuild. Trust the process. You know, like, it's... You, sometimes you just slowly bring on new talent. You have to train them on the on the systems. You have to, like, get them to be comfortable with the tool sets. Throw some stuff out there. See if it works. If it doesn't work, or adjust. Sometimes you're the Warriors and you're lucky yep. in the draft a bunch of times and then you get Durant. And if Vivendi wow. is... <laughs> Body. God, Joel off camera is like, hey... And oh. if Vivendi is coming for you, right. start tanking. Start, start tanking. <laughs> Oh, fuck. God. 
Uh, Bill Roper, who was the, the one of the developers on um, Diablo. Diablo. Right? Yeah. I interviewed and him Hellgate, once right? and Hellgate yeah. London. I actually interviewed him dur- during the Hellgate London. No, it was actually during the Champions Online phase. It was close to Hellgate London. Yeah. And it was a cryptic studio. He was a cryptic, right? yeah, at the time. And he told me something that I think about a lot with game development, which is like, I forget what game we were even specifically talking about. I think it was, I think it was, I was talking maybe about the Champions beta and how things had changed mm-hmm. or something. And he said, you know, game development is weird because games are not small. Even like any game he's ever shipped, he said, like, there's been a big production with lots of people on it. These are not little canoes. A canoe, you can change the direction you're going in quickly, or a kayak or something. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go this way now. White water rapids coming in front of me, turn a little bit. But big boats are hard to change the direction of. And so what you end up doing is oversteering. You know that you can't go straight anymore. So that means you got to turn left. And then once you've gotten basically in that direction, then you can start kind of adjusting bit by bit by bit. I, part of my interview with Corey Barlog, who's the head of the New God of War, was part of God mm-hmm. of War 1 and 2, left for a little while and has come back. Um, he, I can't remember how it came up, but like, uh, actually, uh, Jason Schreier of Kotaku was mm-hmm. like coming out of something and he saw him and uh, he's like, who is that guy? I was like, oh, you know, he, he's a writer of Kotaku, he does a lot of these investigative pieces about yeah. you know, behind the scenes on games. He's like, oh, did you write that Mass Effect piece? Right. Um, and I was like, yeah, you wrote the big one of my drama. He's like, uh, you know how many times that happens on right. every game right. I've ever worked on, every right. game that everyone's ever worked on? And he's like, all you hope and pray is that you're not the one where that happens. Where that story is written about you. Not, not the story. No, it's, 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 that, it's that, I meant that like, like broadly. The, it all what, what that story apart. represented right. of right. like right. where you weren't able to course correct, where like right. things exactly. didn't come together exactly. at the end of the way that you envisioned in the first place. And like one of the things he was talking about was like when they were working on like original God of War, like you know God of War, God of War Two. When they look back on that, mm. the, the difference in scale mm-hmm. then to now, right. like, what they thought was like the amount of course correction they would have to do, like, oh, that was so hard. Now right. it's like exponentially different for like the, the asset quality, the, right. the, 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 the expectations of audience, like where it, it, it is this cruise ship that you're moving. Right. And it is so easy it's to move so that cruise because, ship And because you far. have to make those big turns. And sometimes all. you can't turn the cruise right. ship. Right, right. Like Someone one, upstairs one, says you can't change this thing or whatever. Or the things, technology says you can't. Or you just have to trust that like you, your, your gut is telling right. you we have to turn it and actually what you need to do is not turn right. it and just like stick Push with it and thing. see what happens. Yeah. yeah. My, the, my point of all that was I don't know that Agents of Mayhem is going to be the one Right. I think Agents of Mayhem 2 or 3, if they can get that far, they might have found their footing again with this new team, this young team. I don't actually know how young they are, but the, it's a different team than the previous Right. Games. What's a new franchise? It's a new like, franchise. There's, there's, like, there's some, there's some the crossover. The easy thing to do is to make a new Saints row. Right. Right. And I'm at the end of the day, I think I'm, I'd rather them take the shot. Te- I guess it's technically in the Saints Row verse. Yeah. It's uh, like in the Pierce is there. Pierce like has that. felt really cool. He throws a grenade and he has like a cool SMG. Right. I don't know. Pierce is cool. Yeah. I liked Oni. He's a, he's a gun. There's a soccer hooligan. Gat, Gat, Gat. Gat's in there now, but I haven't played it. What? Yet. Yeah, they just announced that. Johnny Gat's one of the characters. In the like, how, can we... It's, what do you want to know? it up? Can I yeah, know, Johnny how does that work? Gat... Well, did you know that what happened, right? You know I, that, I mean, oh, yes, I, I played those games. Okay, just, Agents of... Well, so it's the last DLC is, like, set up an alternate universe in which... I want to say it's in which the Saints... All go back in time to an oh, alternate universe. Oh yeah, yes, yes, like yes, yes, yes. Cops or something. Is that how they're explaining? How yeah, this, this works? is in that side world. That's what I was also. Saying. You know what? This is their strange reel. This is their strange reel. But also, they're only. I don't. Okay, I want to say they're only doing this. They are doing this. I think because of some of the reaction to this game a year ago was like, why isn't it more Saints Row? Right, right. Which is and that, that's smart. Whatever. Like that's it's yeah. a goofy series. Like fucking throw in yeah. Tone, tone Johnny. Have him shoot some people mm-hmm. and curse or whatever. Yeah. What's weird to me is there's already a character in that game called Hollywood who is just Johnny Gat. And so mm-hmm. I don't know that I need. There's some good skins. There, ah, there's, it's, I think the game's going to be okay. Is Saints uh, Row anime? Yeah. What is it? Oh, actually, in this one, it actually kind of is. Um, Agents of Mayhem has like. It gave me a vibe of like MTV late night cartoon, like the Spawn series, or like a Peter Chung and Flux style right. thing, where like all the characters, sto- all the main story beats are hit in animation, where it's like the Oni one was like a dude going to get revenge. Yakuza has a fucking Oni mask right, right, on, right. and it's just like 
nice animation. Like, it's not perfect. It's not yeah, the yeah, best yeah, animation yeah, I've yeah. ever seen. But the whole thing had this very like adult cartoon from the late '90s, early 2000s vibe. You know what I mean? So hang on, it's anime. I have a very urgent question. Yeah, isn't there an actor in Saints Row the Third that shows up yeah. to like hang Reed out? Lee Donovan, with... I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Burt Reynolds, right? Yes. Burt Reynolds. It plays Burt Reynolds. Yes. And then there's another one, of course, in four. Keith David. Oh, that's right. Keith David is in four. That's actually that's actually. Keith David. Yes. But he's was in every video game for a stretch there, yeah. and then and he's gone. I haven't heard of Keith. What's up, Keith? I miss Keith. Keith was in some good ass video games. Yeah. But my, my, my question voice. is, he's a fantastic voice. So there's kind of the Hollywood actor dude in Agents of Mayhem, mm-hmm. but it's not that actor dude no, from it's just a Dude Third. named Hollywood. Okay. That's all. No, it's, I wish it was. I wish it that, was. That actually be cool. Is like, Burt Reynolds shout good? Like is Burt Reynolds a milkshake duck? Well, wait. Well, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. You're thinking of somebody else. Wait, who are you talking about? So yes, I remember now. Burt Reynolds is in the, the mayor. He's the mayor, yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking about is the Roddy opening Roddy, mission. Roddy, Roddy Piper in. I mean, one of them. Gary Busey's in one of them. In the he's in, a, in, he's, 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 he's a milkshake, milkshake duck. duck. In Saints Row the Third. Yep, the third one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, the third one. <laughs> uh... The opening mission yeah. is there's somebody who's like a method actor who's like learning to be Johnny Gat, and you're taking him on a heist, and he totally That's the second game, isn't it? Is that the third game? The third game I, opens I never you, played the second game. I don't think I played Saints Row 1 or 2. Three, I, 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 three opens I didn't play 1 or 2 because I remember being a giant bomb, and like Jeff and Ryan both were like, you should. Yeah, everyone, we're going to do a game of the year. You guys need to play Saints Row the third one. Oh, no, I don't. Or, 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 like, shut the fuck up. Right. I don't need to play that game. You need to play the game or else it's going to be a weird discussion. I'm Googling Saints Yeah, so Bruno, Bruno's in, in chat Johnny saying this is, the, this is the opening of Saints Row the Third. Shout out to... Oh, us. so the third, but not two. Josh no, Burke. No. Josh Burke. Okay. That Whoever that is sucks. Yeah, Nightblade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that Nightblade. Entire, oh, yeah, you, oh, you remember it's that? It's the fake TV Yeah, show. I do remember Nightblade. Yeah, How yes, did you forget yes, about Nightblade? Yes. Okay. Nightblade is all right. That guy was like a... Like, what if Batman... What if Mantis, the old TV show, had a sword? Wow, that is a callback. We should watch Mantis. That guy shows all right. Should we join us after this, where we're going to start Why episode one Mantis? of uh, our Mantis episode? Mantis with Kia. <laughs> Do you think Mantis has a? Here's my new thing. If you have a Wikia, you've made it. Wait, a Wikia or a Wik- like a Wikia? No, because there's like a there's layers like. You can get a Wikia before you get a Wikia. You do get a Wikia before you get a Wikia. What I'm going to say <laughs> Anyone is... Anyone can get a Wikia. Mantis does not. There's no Mantis Wikia, even. What's he? Do, what's Mantis doing in Ark Survival Evolved? That's a different Mantis. Like an probably. actual Mantis? That's probably just a regular-ass Mantis. You know what I'm talking about. The TV show, those superheroes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He was all right. He was black. He was a conservative. I read a lot about Mantis recently. <laughs> like, no, six I, months I, ago, and I'm realizing now... Yeah, I don't remember which Wikipedia page... <laughs> But I'm remembering now that I, I remember more of the facts about that show than I thought I would having read that thing six months ago. He was like a like a neocon, like a black neocon. But then as Mantis, he was like helping poor people. And like did, wasn't a neocon. It was a cover. Wait. The neocon or the so wait, whoa, poor whoa, 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 whoa. The, so like by day, oh, okay. by day, by day, he was like respectability, respectability politics. politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Okay. Like, and then, had a bow tie on. Okay. Yes. But, but also, but, also was uh, in a wheelchair. But then his mantis suit like gave him superpowers. Is it like okay. an alien suit? But an alien suit? What? Here's the thing. Where, where do the powers come from? It's like it's like an Iron Man suit. Oh. Okay. It stands for something. Mechanically augmented neurotransmitter interception system. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, obviously you're not real. You didn't read that off a of Wikipedia page. That just came that out. That just came out. Gina Torres was in that, by the way. That's a fact I know about mantis. <laughs> it's definitely not I in front of you right now. That. Yeah. Him by by night, like doing good virtuous stuff, isn't incompatible with him being a respectability politics guy, right? Like he could still be like, I'm gonna no. by night, I help the good people of the city and punish <laughs> those who. No, he, but I I think I remember reading that it was a front. Like okay. it was actually he he was like, poor people and black and brown people need to stick together. Okay, guys, <laughs> are we off the plot? Is Mantis an Agents of Man- Agents so of Mantis? So is Nightblade in Agents of no, Shield? No, I don't think. Sorry. No, he's not in Agents of Shield. Sorry. Agents of Mayhem, Nightblade. 
Mantis of Shield. Mantis of Shield. <laughs> okay. uh, I don't see it. Doesn't look All like right. it. Good. Weird. Yes, Nightblade is primarily rogue. Stop saying otherwise. Is that a. Oh, it's an Elder Scrolls thing. I thought it was a, a MOBA thing. I think it's going to do it for yes. me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. That was no, our. Reading, we... <sighs> nope. That was our Ubisoft and also this Agents of Mayhem episode. And also Mantis. This and is also the Mantis. second or third time our E3 name. coverage has become looking stuff up in wikis. What's his real name, I wonder? Mantis? Yeah. I know I'm a big fan and all that, but... Dr. Hawkins. Good name. Uh, you can find everything we do at waypoint.vice.com. You can go to youtube.com slash waypointvice. You can find us on your podcatcher of choice, whether that's us. Uh, Stitcher or Apple iTunes music oh, podcast app. Mantis. You can go to Mantis, just do a search for Waypoint, will probably show up. It's good on that SEO. By Mantis. day, Mantis. By day oh. it's iTunes. By night, <laughs> it's Overcast. Yep, exactly. Find us at twitter.com slash Waypoint. It's really hard to say twitter.com slash Mantis. What is that? Come on, on. Who is Who's on twitter.com slash Hold Mantis? On. Yeah. Hold <laughs> on. Who could it be? I don't. We don't. Mm. This is okay. We were looking at the internet now, and <laughs> we need to just. Where can people stop? Speaking of the internet, all right. I'm just read one tweet. Yeah. Whoa. Never really listened to Rihanna, but this track is pretty bad. Ah. And then two dollar signs. Yep. A little dark. And, and tough. tough. That's gonna do it for us today. We'll be back. We will be back after we've slept a whole bunch. I'm so tired. No, we're coming back at 3 a.m. tonight, right? <laughs> to watch for our mantis watch through. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be back tomorrow with more stuff. If you have questions, you can send them to us at gamingadvice.com. Sure can. We'll try to answer them by the end of E3. They should be about E3, also the questions in general. Okay. And we will be on the uh, the Giant Bomb stream tomorrow night yep. after we do this podcast, yep. hopefully way earlier. Yep. And after we've slept some. What, what are people seeing tomorrow? Like as a... Yeah, yeah as a little preview. As yeah. a hot... Let's, let's take a look here. Mantis. I'm seeing uh, uh, the game Days Gone. Days Gone, the zombie Days game. Gone. Yep. So, so if people have questions about that for for you. Yep. Hit you up at twitter.com slash Patrick. I think Patrick. also. Oh. Uh, I like last minute. What? I see the last night tomorrow. Oh shit! Do you? <laughs> yep. Are you sure? Yes. Did I book that for you? No, I booked it. Well, do you have any question, questions? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Is there anything you would like to ask? I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, tomorrow morning I'm, uh, I booked some yeah some last minute stuff. I'm gonna go see that uh, right. moss that uh, oh the, cool the, uh, not rabbit a little mouse. It's a mouse moss mouse moss mouse. 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 Uh, Name Quill that. I think. Yes. Peter Quill is that the mouse? No, that's Guardians of the Galaxy. Peter Quill. Yeah, is that the mouse? I don't think no. What's that's, the mouse wait, in Guardians Peter of the Galaxy? Peter Quill was the Marquis no, Sod. Oh, right, that's the right. Mouth, yeah. that's the, the mouse about. and Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy? Yeah. I'm going to see State of Decay 2, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then and then I'm going to see, I think, something like Frostpunk, which looks cool, which is the game by the... Is um, that a new aesthetic? Frostpunk's the new aesthetic. Sweet. Once, once global warming hits, and then we get a new Ice Age, let me tell you, <laughs> all Frostpunk. It's actually the new game by the... Uh, this is yeah. devs. And then another thing from that same publisher... Uh, a game about it's like a, it's like a it felt like a racketeer style thing of like a, not Dave Lang's racketeer the the There's anime two games? the anime selling one do you already pass that a different way like racketeer or something probably yeah racketeer is fine but like Dave there's a different racketeer there are two there there's there's a or, or are you game. saying it's the same game and that people have had radically different experiences with him you those would be so radically different okay there's Dave Lang's racketeer the which, official name the official name course dave lang apostrophe s's racketeer and then there's racketeer that game i bought on steam years ago which you're an anime lady who sells stuff and goes on adventures i hear that game is great i meant to play it for about six the one that's like capitalism ho oh, that one yeah, yeah i've never played it neither this one's more like the one with the selling of capitalism stuff not the one that's the selling of capitalism stuff i think you just mean the practice of capitalism Shit. okay all right so oh. you're selling capitalism you're seeing kingdom come tomorrow yeah which also has some yeah, you, you know what? You, you've got a real fucking <laughs> banger lineup tomorrow. You're starting question on social media practices. You're starting on F one though, so that'll be fun. That'll oh, be fun. Yeah. No, nothing the Waypoint audience loves more than detailed 
Formula One racing discussion. 1,200 words tomorrow, end of day. Find out if they have that cool e-racing shit. They won't, but they should. Formula E? That'd be Formula cool. E, there it is. E- yeah. E-racing. E-racing. <laughs> yeah, when you said that, I was like, what does that mean? E- no. Don't call it E-racing. We're trying to get away from the E in E-racing. It's just you erasing. Up, you can't it's just the erasing. Is it erasing? <laughs> we need to erase ourselves we in this do. podcast. We do. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go done. No more a goddamn bed. I need to get out of this course. That's it. I got to go Just look up out a here. Peter Quill Wikipedia page. Star Lord. Mouse. That's the mouse. Stop name. it! Just turn <laughs> Talk to you all tomorrow. Did you say Star Lord? <laughs> no. <laughs> turn up. Stop. Bye. I'm out. Bye, internet. <laughs>